Well, hello there, Libra. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today we are doing your weekly tarot reading. This is good for the week of October 31st through November 6th. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, so let's see these cards. There we go. Settling down. Wombat Spirit, be at home. Interesting. Gemini had that same card, a never ending story. Okay, so <laughs> it could be a similar reading to Gemini's. You know, I feel like with this, um, the veil is really a thin, is at the thinnest, um, you know, on October 31st with Halloween. And we have that energy this week. I feel like you may be um, kind of conserving your energy, kind of like spending a little bit more time by yourself or something. There, During this time where the veil is thin, you're recognizing that there's a certain pattern in a relationship or situation. Like you're truly seeing it perhaps for the first time. Like I, I think... You already know that this pattern exists, but you're kind of like being able to see like how this pattern is going to play out in the future. Interesting. It's almost like you're getting a glimpse of the future if this pattern isn't broken. So let's see what we have. Behind a mask, commitment, and then new supportive um, connections. Yeah. You have, you know, conflict and stuck in energy. I think there is some relationship that you have in your life right now that may have, you know, like it's stuck in this energy of conflict. Like you might get over one conflict and then there's another. And then you get over that one and there's another. It's like a repeating cycle of conflict where it's almost um, this energy of putting out fires. Whether this is a work situation or a relationship, you feel like you're always putting out fires. And what you're really wanting to do is to step into, you know, a sense of feeling love and deserving energies, okay? Um, uh, being cherished, okay? Acknowledged for all of the work and the time and the love that you're putting into either your, your work, your career, or a relationship, but you're understanding you're not getting that. And the gender doesn't matter. What I'm getting there is that what you're wanting, okay, is to be recognized, is to be cherished. Um, and yet at the same time, yeah, you're trying to move on from something. There's just this sense of a un never ending conflict. Like you're always having, I feel like you're, you're sitting there almost feeling like you always have to give in to this situation. Like you never, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, um, say this is a minor, right? But say you are in a relationship, right? And every time you go out to eat, the other person always gets to choose the restaurant, right? And sometimes that's okay. You don't really care. But every once in a while, maybe you say, oh, I want sushi. And they're like, I don't like sushi. So we're not doing sushi. But it's kind of like, maybe they like Italian and you don't enjoy eating Italian, right? Um, and so it's kind of like, but you still go to Italian when they want Italian, but they never will go to sushi. If you want sushi, right? It's like you're always having to compromise in this situation. That's a difficult energy to be in Libra. And I feel like at this time you're recognizing, oh, this is the way it's always going to be. You know, they could be saying, well, it's only because I'm stressed out at work right now. Or if it's your boss or something, you know, they're kind of like, yeah, well, business is down or the economy is unstable or something like that. And it's kind of like, okay. And then you realize, you know, there's always an excuse. There's always a reason for you to never get what it is that you want. Just every once in a while. I don't think you're wanting everything all the time. It's just kind of like, hey, can you throw me a bone? <laughs> you know, um, because your present energy is, you know, the hermit energy. So you have that energy twice about going within, looking at the mask that maybe you're wearing, perhaps in the situation of understanding that you may just be putting a smile on your face and not complaining, but deep down inside, you're kind of like, I can't keep this up. 
for the rest of my life, right? I mean, it's just eating me away. Yeah, underneath we have the page of wands and you notice um, this person has a magnifying glass. It's kind of like you're looking really deeply, um, especially with this veil being, you know, so thin, you're looking deeply at the situation and trying to figure out, you know, is this going to work or do I need to go in a different direction? And then we have the Hierophant, you know, believing, knowing that you are deserving of something that is long-term committed, you know, whether it's a relationship or whether it's a work situation, it's kind of like, okay, what do I want the long term? Do I want to stay in something that constantly seems to be stuck in conflict? Or do I want something <laughs> that, you know, or someone, a situation that recognizes just how wonderful I am? So let's write, um, let's clarify this. Yeah, interesting because these two are kind of falling out. Ace of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. I think you are getting inspired to move towards something that is a long-term committed relationship relationship or situation something that may bring you financial stability but definitely that sense of you know wanting something and someone that's committed to you <laughs> more than what it is that they want yeah look at this wow and these cards are kind of like jumping out in a very oh my gosh <laughs> really interesting yeah i feel like you're taking your love somewhere else you know expressing your love um, to some other situation, perhaps. I feel like you're moving towards something that is more in alignment with your Ten of Cups, you know, recognizing I want um, people in my life that are truly on this path in order to be in a loving energy with me, you know, so it's the sense of moving towards someone and you could have someone in particular in mind here or just moving on from a situation that isn't loving towards something that is. Because look at this, Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, and these dropped out. This is this energy of, okay, I am no longer wearing a mask and pretending that things are okay. I'm actually going to move towards things that are fulfilling and happy and joyful and are bringing me the love and the commitment that I'm looking for. Because here we have commitment and the moon. You know, the moon energy, Pisces energy here, but really this sense, this is your obstacle of looking for someone to truly commit to you. I think Libra, you are wanting to commit to someone else. It's kind of like you're having difficulty perhaps finding that person to commit to, right? Um, and just kind of wondering, you know, is that person on my path? Is it time for me to leave a situation in order to move towards something that is more loving? What does that path look like? Who does that? What situation or person is going to come along on my path? Knowing that, you know, with the moon, it's a little bit like, you know, I feel like with the veil being so thin, you could see a glimpse of your future, right? Of being in a relationship or a situation that has all this love and you're kind of like, yes, I, I have to go this way. I may not see what the path is totally illuminated, but I'm ready to go on this path. Um, and for some of you, I, I mean, I really think that this is for a very you know, small portion of you. For some of you, you may be recognizing that you had that at one time and wanting to go back to it. So it could be a job that now you're recognizing, wow, that that job had so much more love and fulfillment than what, what you know, for this one that I'm in now. You know, some of you may be wanting to return to something that was more fulfilling in the past. Um, but you just need to go on this path to, do, you know, you thought there was something greener on the other side of the fence, right? Now you're kind of understanding, okay, what is it that I really and truly want? And perhaps even recognizing that something that you had in the past, and you may not be returning to the exact same job or the exact same person, but you're recognizing now, I want something that's really very close to it. Um, and once again, that's not going to be for all of you. I think you're you're doing some soul searching about the things in your life in the past that did bring you a lot of love and joy and recognizing, okay, 
that perhaps you had to go out and explore some other things to recognize just how special something in the past was. Yeah, this has been a long journey for you. You know, you have Ace of Wands again, recognizing one plus nine is 10. You're willing to put down the burdens of some situation that you may be in now in order to move towards something that is truly fulfilling <laughs> and, and deserving, you know, so you're manifesting, you know, new supportive connections. I think for a lot of you, you are trying to move on to something new. But once again, it could have glimmers of something from a long ago. Not what you're in now, but something a long ago. Um, almost a sense, the Six of Cups is not here, but it's almost a sense of reminiscing about something from the past and saying, how can I recreate something similar to that, but uh, expand on it, make it even big, bigger and better, right? Um, I love this energy because it's kind of like recycling. It's almost like you're recycling something from the past, but... Once again, it does not mean that you have to return to the exact person or situation. It's just recognizing, oh, wait a minute, there was a lot of good in that situation. You know, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, you have the Ten of Swords, the Hermit energy again. And, you know, you have the Hermit three times. I really feel like you're finding the answer within about how to balance out you know, um, your energy, but balancing out, finding, you know, the karmic balance perhaps in a difficult ending. Looking at this ending in a different way and recognizing the good that was in it. You know, I feel like it may have ended very abruptly, very painfully, but now you're on the other side of it. So you're kind of looking back at it and, and it can, it's kind of like, Okay, yes, it ended painfully. That's why I think a lot of you are not returning to the exact same thing, right? But you're now far enough down the path that you can recognize the points, the, the little, little things about that job, that career, that city, that relationship that you do want in your life, you know? Um, because, you know, I think for a long time, you've been kind of like, no, I'm never going to return to that. You know, I don't want anything that looks like that, right? It was kind of like, no, because it was a painful ending. So you're kind of like, no, I'm never, you know, perhaps I'm never going to get married again. I'm never going to, you know, be in that career ever again. You know, it was so difficult. Yeah, but see, you're kind of, you're kind of attached, okay? You're kind of attached to thinking that you need more options. Yeah, there's some of you, you want to kind of keep your options open. You're kind of attached to that. It could be that this past relationship or career or job situation ended very abruptly, very painfully, right? So it's kind of like, yeah, I'm not putting all my eggs into one basket ever again. It's almost like, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of options, you know? I'm not going to truly commit to something. But now what you're understanding is the veil is really thin, that by not committing, you don't have people that also commit to you. So if you don't commit to the job, then how could you ever expect your employer or your clients or you know whoever you're working with to be loyal and committed to you? If you don't co fully commit to a relationship, then how can you be ever expect that person to be totally committed to you? And I also think that there is something here about committing to yourself. If you don't completely commit to what your heart desires, then how can you ever expect for you to feel happy and fulfilled and, and, and loved? So I think that there is this whole thing about commitment coming in, understanding that, you know, there is, there is balance, there is justice, there is love, <laughs> and there, there is a lot when you totally commit, right? Um, that you can find that balance in your life and find the happiness and the fulfillment after perhaps a long time of feeling kind of left out and, and alone. So um, yeah, I think you're getting a different perspective, you know, understanding what it means to be committed to people in your life. It could be that you also 
are going through some type of situation at this time, maybe a little bit of a health crisis or or something like that. And it's kind of like understanding, oh, I don't have anybody in my life to help me through this, you know. And understanding that part of the problem may be is that when people are wanting your help, you may not show up for them. Um, and so it's kind of like this balancing energy of, you know, wait a minute, it is worth putting time and energy into committing to people's situations, relationships. I really like this energy because I, I feel like this isn't like a big thing for you. You know, it's kind of like, but I think it brings you clarity, um, a little bit more of a sense of clarity in why why you do want to kind of move into being more committed, you know, to um, to yourself, to people in your life, and perhaps even, you know, to your job or your career. It's a really lovely energy of finding peace. It's kind of like finding peace, you know, within yourself. So let's pull a Soul Truth card. And Libra, I do um, personal reading. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? I do feel, I think it's interesting that they brought up, you know, your health, having perhaps a little bit of a health crisis. Um, if my body could talk, it would say blank. Feed your body what it needs to feel nourished, appreciated, and loved. Make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level. So, you know, um, you know, I think at this time you're you're kind of recognizing health is, you know, not just our physical health, our mental, emotional and spiritual health. You know, um, looking at the health of our environment, too, of our relationships, all of that. And I think you're kind of recognizing, you know, if we want to be healthy for a long period of time. Um, it takes commitment, right, to, you know, try to eat healthy as much as you possibly can to get some exercise. Relationships are very important for our mental and emotional health. So I think you're kind of recognizing that maybe for some of you, you have been kind of hiding out for a while um, and perhaps not putting some of the time and energy that you need to into, into taking care of your own self. And now you're recognizing that, okay, I'm willing to recommit to my own um, health in all areas, right? But also, especially the health in my relationships, understanding just how important your relationships are, that you do want to be um, more committed to people and you are also stepping into this energy of allowing people to commit to you instead of perhaps putting up barriers. Really interesting. Um, I, um, I'll share, I had a fall not too long ago, <laughs> a couple of days ago, and, you know, taking care of Maggie and trying to maneuver around my house. And, you know, I live by myself. So I was really, um, I'm not the type of person to ask for help. Um, but I had a lot of my neighbors and friends that, you know, just kind of pitched in to help take care of Maggie and to help me with some a few things around the house. And it really did help me to um, step into that energy of saying, yes, I do need help, you know of allowing people to kind of like take care of me. And it also helped me to kind of recommit to being a good friend, right? To some of my friends when they um, also are in an energy of needing help because I recognized how loved and cherished I felt when people stepped up and wanted to help me out um, and how I can do the same for others. So I think it's kind of interesting that that kind of energy is, you know, showing up here that you are trying to manifest connections in your life, but you're also willing to put in the time and the energy in order to be committed to these instead of just kind of like having them just be surface relationships. I think you're willing to go a little bit deeper with them. 
really lovely energy, Libra. Um, I, <laughs> I, I feel like this is, you know, kind of a big step for you after having a difficult ending to really kind of be really putting yourself back out there um, in a more emotionally vulnerable way. So um, kudos to you for doing that work. Um, well, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you much love and light in this situation and in all your situations. And I appreciate all of your support through likes, comments, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Have a great week. Bye for now.